Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Today I'm gonna do some slight cosmetic changes to my TMNT Arcade 1-Up. Now, a while back I actually made a video um, showing to change the joysticks and stuff like that. And then I changed some of the gates and springs of some of my other RK one ups but now today I'm gonna actually change the gates into circle gates so the joysticks move a little bit more fluid and I'm also going to change the springs and I'm gonna show you guys some new translucent bat tops that I picked up. So just slight cosmetic changes. I like these arcade one-ups. I like customizing them, making them feel like their own little thing, you know, something special. Sometimes stock's nice, but sometimes changing things up is fantastic. So we're gonna put these translucent ones coming up here. And I picked these because they were kind of cool, you know, they're see-through, they kind of have like a an 80s like skate, like a uh, skate park type of vibe. You know, you just go roller skating and stuff. So these ones I previously put are solid green and there's no like distinguishing change for them and though you know the stock ones were um like ball tops i like bat tops so let's go ahead i'm going to show you guys these so here we go you can see look at the look at the the cool little, like bubble look i guess the translucent type of uh thing we're gonna put this for donatello of course purple and uh bat tops you just screw them i'd screw them off like so they come right off and whoops, try not to drop it. All right, so here we go. The new bat top. And you just screw that sucker right on. And there you go. And eventually it'll just stay in place. And uh, look at that, that actually is kind of neat. Neato, let's do the others. All right, so this is red, even though it looks orange, this is the red one, because I'll show you the difference. I have an orange one. Um, so we're gonna put red for Raphael. Again, simple. This is probably like the easiest customizing thing that you can do for your arcade one-ups. If you wanna change it or give it a nice little look, sometimes, you know, bat tops just, I don't know. I don't like bat tops or ball tops on certain cabinets, but for turtles and for, for like Street Fighter and stuff like that, I prefer the bat tops. Um, so, there we go. We got two down, let's do one more. All right, so we're gonna go with the nice little translucent blue for Leah Nardo, who's the leader of the crew. How did how did that old song go from the 1989 movie, uh, TMNT Power? Here we go, screw it. Like it's Jay's mom. Boom, right there, look at this one. This one has like a weird bubble effect inside of it. <laughs> Almost looks like a, a finger. That one's weird. So for Michelangelo, this is where things get tough because the cabinet doesn't have him orange. The cabinet has him yellow. And that's always kind of bugged me. The ball top was also yellow. Um, so I had two different options. I have a yellow translucent and I have an orange translucent. And what I'm gonna do for you guys is actually show you what they look like differently. Now the orange might stick out with the yellow buttons. You can always go and get orange buttons and replace them and stuff like that if, it, if you're really OCD like that. But here we go, let's check it out. So here's the orange and uh, it is gonna kind of look strange with the yellow, but I just wanted to show you guys all the options. Again, also in the descriptions, there are some links to these products. And man, this, this ball top, this bat grip just won't come off the heck all right here we go and that is the orange one and again it's not the most aesthetically pleasing especially with the the yellow buttons so if you were to look at it with all of them on here that's what it looks like so far all right and this is what it looks like with the blue orange purple and red so you can see the red actually looks a lot more red once it's on the thing, then, then orange. When I was holding it, it looked really orange, but trust me, it's not. Um, again, that sticks out. So we're gonna go ahead and change it to the yellow, and I bet you it's gonna look fantastic. Muy magnifique. Thing to look at. You know what I mean? Cause just all green and all black and the ball top just didn't have that look. This to me screams 80s. Like, like it's nice, it's a nice touch. It pops out, it looks really great with your machine, so definitely dig this. Now, in order to change the gates in the springs, we have to unscrew this baby 
And I did this process in a previous video showing it. I will kind of touch on it very briefly. Um, and hopefully you guys, it's, it's not intimidating at all. It sounds a lot fancier and more technical than it really is to do, but it, trust me, it's not that bad. So we unscrewed this, we're gonna take it and we're gonna flip it upside down and add everything to it. So this is what we're looking at right here. See, so we're gonna open it up, switch the gate, switch the circle, springs and all that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch this out, this out, this out, and this out. These four with new gates, and we're also going to put the springs, which are in there. It's kind of a, it's annoying, but it, it's worth it. With the RK one ups, you push these black segments and kind of push up, and eventually they come up. And we'll go ahead and take all of them off, and uh, it's not too tough. Here's the new one. So you can see this is a square gate. This is a circle gate. So there's a difference. Circle's the new one, what we're gonna put on. New one, you just line it up with the black tabs and uh, push it down. And eventually it'll be on there nice and snug. Thing, this is kind of like a C clamp type of thing. It's a lot easier to take off with a razor blade, but I can't find mine. So I'm gonna try to do my best to open it up right now. Pardon the light, but now I opened it. You have to kind of use something really um, small to pull this clamp out. But once you do, it opens up. You can see the spring. You just take the spring out. This is the old spring. We're gonna put the new one in. And you can see this one is really like easy to squeeze. The new ones are gonna be tighter. Harder to squeeze the brand new one. So this is a six pound spring. This is the old one. That's the old one. Look how much easier. And that's the new one. It's tighter, it's easier, it's nicer. We're gonna put it in, we're gonna put all of them in. The one with the old spring, and this is the one that I just replaced. Look at that. Look how much tighter it sounds, it moves tighter. It's gonna be great with the circle gate. Sorry, I'm busy learning tech, switching out the springs and the octagon gates for my RK one ups, prepping for uh, the job opening at the uh, Shady J Barcade. Uh, I'm gonna try to become the tech instead of P-Tech. All right, so we're all done. Take a look at the finished product. Time to close it back up, screw it back together and uh, play. Circle gate, I have the springs put inside and uh, we're ready to party. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so we're all done. Check that out, everything feels great, moves fantastic. Love this. I love changing the springs out and all that. It just, the springs feel so much better. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just want to kind of show you guys simple customizations and stuff that you can do for your Arcane 1UP. And I appreciate you guys watching as always. Thanks a lot. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.